Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the V-Line Velocity. And this is a train from Australia, and it's a DMU, which is a diesel multiple unit train, and it's built by Bombardier. And this was commissioned by Emuler0229, so thank you for that. And if you want to commission a train, you can just check out my self five page, link in the description. And uh, one thing I have to say about this, when I was just about to record, I just... I found out that it's a broad gauged uh, track engine so like that was a little bit weird and apparently it's a little more than standard gauge but for this build I just use the narrow gauge track since it'll be a lot easier since uh, it's a four blocks wide usually trains would be uh, five blocks wide if they're using like standard gauge or higher track but I'm, I'm just gonna keep it like this and uh, yeah, so basically we're just going to build these two cars. And the end car over there is the same as the front. It's just flipped around. All right, so let's get started. So first off, let's add uh, two blocks of quartz on top of the tracks in the middle. And then uh, we're going to add uh, quartz stairs on the sides and one behind it curved like that. Same thing on the side. Then for the next layer, um, we're going to add... Uh, black wall, two black wall in the center, and after that, uh, add scion hardened clay, and we're gonna make this 36 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, five, thirty six, and after thirty six, we're gonna add a uh, polished andesite to the back of this. Make that uh four blocks wide like that and uh, make the middle two blocks wide on my way back to the front just fix that alright so back at the front let's add a uh, yellow wool on the sides and then we're gonna add uh, this L shape with the quartz so it's like two blocks up quartz the three blocks long so one two three then let's take a quartz stairs just add that uh, I believe yeah right here just add one in this nook and then let's take uh, our <laughs> quartz again okay quartz add it, add it on one side basically and then on the other side we're gonna add prismarine bricks and this is so that they have a little green in there we want to add that but we don't really have that bluish green that's in real life so that's our green so then we're gonna add beacons for the headlights and then on top of the beacons we want to add uh, stone brick stairs and in the middle we're gonna add nether brick slab alright so Behind this, let's add a 2x2 two two of black stained glass. And then uh, let's add uh, blue hardened clay, which is our purple. And let me just refer to this as purple because it is purple. And then we're just going to go diagonally up like that. And we're going to go all the way to the last block over there. So going all the way back. It is a pretty long rail car. And uh, let's start on the other side. Alright, so once we do that, let's take a uh, yellow wool, just add that right here. And then let's take a uh, yellow carpet, just add two on top of that, like so. And then let's take uh, iron bars, just add that right here for the side view mirror. Then we're going to take uh, black stained glass paint, just add that right there. Then two blocks of quartz on top. Then we're going to have to make a little door here. So we're going to take uh, the prismarine brick, just add two on the top and the bottom, and two on the other side as well. And then let's go to the back and let's take uh, light gray wool, just add that on the top and the bottom. And also the two block wide window, I mean door, which has a window. So then uh, let's 
add a light gray wool alongside the vehicle. You know, I wonder how this is gonna work out because I already made the NR class and that uses standard gauge. But I saw them use the same tracks, so I don't know how that's gonna work out, but oh well. So I just filled in the top and uh, we wanna do this on the side as well. So what I think you can do is basically have this kinda floating in the middle of the tracks like on one side. I mean you could do that like on one side looks perfectly fine the other yeah it looks perfectly fine too just be a little off all right so next let's add the roof so we're gonna add uh, gray wool just add a two by two right here followed by nether brick stairs just add two of them facing the back and then let's go to the back actually and add uh, two black wool at the very end of the car. Then we're gonna have two stone bricks uh, stairs. Then two double uh, slabs, stone slabs. And then let's add uh, five blocks long of stone slabs, so half slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. Do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna have to add black wool right there and then we're gonna make this part which is five blocks long of light gray wool so one two three four five and then uh, right there in front of it we want to have two stone brick stairs so we're gonna face outward so that we make the center block and then we want to have uh, two more stone slabs and then this segment, I believe it's eight blocks long of light gray wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get two blocks uh, wide. And let's go to the front and add this segment. So we're gonna have uh, two double stone, <laughs> stone slabs like this with a block in the middle diagonally. So it's gonna be like a black wool right there. And since it is four blocks wide, we have to kind of split it up because there is no real middle. And fill the rest of the roof in with stone slabs. Yep, and uh, let's, let's actually go down there. And let's add uh, this segment in the front. So we're going to take a cyan hardened clay, just add a 2x2 two two right behind the front, and then let's add stone brick stairs like that. And then let's add a <laughs> uh, two hoppers on each side and skip one, two hoppers again. And in the middle of those hoppers, let's add stone brick slab. Then let's go to the back. And uh, we're gonna skip three blocks, so right here, and then do it again, two hoppers. And then the middle, stone brick slab, then two hoppers again on each side. And then once we're done with that, uh, let's take a uh, polished andesite and just add that right here. We're gonna skip this block, and in the middle of there, we wanna add uh, upside down stone brick stairs. And below that, uh, three stone brick slabs. Now let's do the same thing on this side. All right, so once we're done with that, let's actually uh, do the other part, the front part. So we're gonna take, uh, let me see how I actually did it. All right, so I took a uh, stone slab, just add three so add three after this court stairs and then let's add uh, stone brick stairs like that and then there's another one actually it's right above the last hopper so it looks like this so this is a stone slab right there and let's do the same thing on the side so three then stone brick slab I mean stairs then a slab and then stairs which are gonna curve 
right above the last hopper. And let's go to the back. Just do the same thing. So have it curve on the edge hoppers. And in the gaps, let's fill that in with slabs. And same thing on the side. To fill it in with slabs. And uh, the middle part, that's going to be polished andesite. So just fill it in on the sides. Then let's take a uh, stone brick slab. Just add that right here. Right under the polished andesite. And just go along the whole length. And let's do the other side as well. Polish andesite, and then stone brick slab underneath it. Then after this, I'm gonna add like this bedrock vent. I think it's on only the the other side. So this side, it's gonna be like this bedrock vent, and that's gonna be also on the regular passenger uh, trailer, or whatever. So just remember to do that. So. We're going to skip these three polished andesites and add a two, two uh, bedrocks on this side. You don't have to add it on this side, so just forget about that. And uh, let's do the middle. So we're going to add black wool to this very edge. Then we're going to add two black wools. We're going to skip one right here. And in that gap, we want to fill that in with black stained glass block. And that's the, the door, of course. Let's go to the front. Let's add black wool right here. Then black stained glass block. And then two black walls. And then this is where we're going to have uh, two block uh, long windows. And just continue that. So we're going to have one, two, three, four four windows and then we're gonna have a vent on uh, the right side so right here we want to have two black walls then bedrock two black walls and then continue the slots for the windows and then we're gonna fill in this side uh, fill in that window we don't need it sorry my nose is really itchy for some reason alright so on this side it's gonna be a little bit different since we want it sort of consistent so what I did was make this window three blocks uh, long so yeah for the center three blocks long I just continue it till we have this and just fill in the gaps with the black stained glass block now let's do the other side Alright, so that's how you do the front car, and now I'm going to show you how to build the trailer, the one in the middle. So, let's do the same thing again. We need to make our connector, uh, what's the name for it? The vestibule, I think that's what it's called. Or there's, it's also called the gangway. So we're going to make a 2x3 of gray wool. And at the very bottom, let's add a little coupling, which is stone brick slab. And then we're going to have to continue. See this design, we're just going to do that right there. So let me take out our polished andesite, just place that down five, I mean, four blocks wide. Then upside down stone brick uh, stairs, the polished andesite again, then stone brick stairs facing that direction. In the middle, we're going to take. Scion hardened clay, and we're gonna fill in the middle two, and make it 36 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Then at the very end, we're gonna add our polish andesite four blocks uh, wide then in the middle just make this two blocks wide let's go all the way back to the front it's a lot of labor just to make this 
All right, then let's go to the other side and just add a little upside down stairs, then a polish andesite on both sides, and then add three slabs underneath this part. Put the stairs after it, I mean before it. Let's go to this side, we need to add those slabs there as well. So just add these three slabs and then we're gonna have our hoppers again, so two hoppers adjacent to this uh, upside down stone brick stairs. So two hoppers, skip one, two hoppers, you know. I'm sure by now you already know. But let's just do that anyways. And in the middle, let's add stone brick slab. Then let's add stone brick stairs right here. One in the middle and one on the very edge of the hopper. So like that. Just keep on doing that. And in the gaps, whoa, I did that wrong on that side. All right, so in the gaps, we're gonna add uh, slabs. Then in the middle, we wanna have the polished andesite. Just go across in the remaining gaps. Oh yeah, and then add the slabs on the side as well. And back to our polish andesite. And then underneath the andesite, we want to have stone brick slabs run across. Do this side as well. And after we're done with that, let's take our bedrock and just uh, go to the right side of it and uh, skip these three polished andesites and to add, add two bedrocks right there. So we have that vent on one side and there also is a vent right there smack in the middle of this coach. So we're gonna add that as well. And you have to do these, the rest of the stuff first. So let's just do the easy part, which is just the blue hardened clay, aka the purple, just go the entire length of the car, which is pretty long. When I first built this, and I looked at the dimensions, it was insane. I think it was like almost 40 block blocks long, but apparently it came out just fine. So, once we're done with that, Let's add, uh, let's add the doors, so we're going to add prismarine uh, bricks like that, two of them, and then skip a layer, two on top, so it looks like that, and we're going to have them on both sides, so it's going to be symmetrical in that sense. Then let's add like gray wool on the top and the bottom right next to it and also uh, in the middle as well so yeah I'm just doing this side first alright then we could do this side and my nose is itchy again I really want to scratch it, but I can't, you know, I just got to do this first. Alright, so once we're done with that, let's actually take a uh, black wool, just add two in the back of it, on top and the front of this car as well. And then uh, let's take a stone slab and add a 2x5 after this so that's uh, 5 blocks long then we're gonna have a black wall right there on one side and then put a stone slab next to it and then we're gonna have another 5 blocks long of stone slab um, 
actually never mind six blocks so just add another one then let's go to the other side and add five blocks along a stone slab on this side as well then add the black uh, wall on one side then add a stone slab next to it and then two stone slabs in front of it then let's go take a light gray wool <laughs> and we're gonna add to this segment right here near the front so that's gonna be eight blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight same thing on this side and after it we're gonna add a uh, two stone slab then we're gonna add a stone brick stairs so they're gonna face back to back so that we can have a center block like that and then fill in this rest of the gap with the light gray wool and that should be the roof now let's move on to the last part I believe which is uh, the windows and like the little vent on the side and after that we should be done so let's actually do that right now so we're gonna take black wall just add that to the corners then we're gonna skip a block here just add two black walls go to the front and uh, add that oh wow I missed that area with the light gray wool so we're gonna add the black oh I missed the top too gotta fix that alright so let's add the black wool then we're gonna skip one, just add black wool again, and that side we're gonna have two, this side we're gonna leave it like this. And uh, let's add uh, black stained glass in the little hole for the door on both sides. Then let's go to this side, and we're gonna have uh, four windows before we have like this little midsection. So one, two, three, four 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 windows then we're gonna have two black black wall and then a bedrock in the middle and then two black wall again and then have uh, more windows that are two blocks uh, long or wide and for this side we're gonna have uh, one block long window right here right next to this door and it's going to be like a little uneven compared to the other side so it's not going to really match up but we're just going to continue that all throughout uh, the car just continuing these two block wide windows till we reach the end and then let's fill in the gaps with the black stained glass just all along and then now uh, let's do the side Alright, so then you would just connect <laughs> another one of the end cars and put that at the back and they can have a three car train set. So that's basically it on how to build the V-Line Velocity by Bombardier, which is a DMU. And uh, thank you again for Amuler0229 for commissioning this build. And if you want to commission builds, you can just check out my Sofi page, link in the description. And if you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.